In the previous video, I showed you how to make a WhatsApp conversation like this as a static image. If you haven't seen the video, please go back and check it out. And if you want to buy the static image as a done for you thing, I'll put a link to the Etsy document where you can download the template for a small fee. So today what we're going to do is we're going to make it animated so that it looks like people are talking and the conversation is happening in real time. So they can, you, you can use it on TikTok or Instagram to advertise your books. So what we've got here is a conversation from one of my books, Girl on the Run, and it's just there to tease people and see if they would like it. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I made it as an Instagram post because the static image I made as an Instagram post, but for this, it is easier to do this in a video document. So what I did was I just selected all, copied and pasted it into a TikTok video. So let's go open a TikTok video. Select everything. Copy. And paste. Now, if you're new here, this is Canva Tips for Authors. I'm Jeev. I write romantic comedies and women's fiction as Jeevani Charika and as R Rhoda Baxter. And I have this channel where I show authors how to use Canva better for their book marketing. If you are an author and would like to talk to other authors about Canva, come and join the Facebook group. Link is in the description. Okay, let's go. So we've got this pasted into our TikTok reel now. What we want to do is we want to make each of these things pop up at about two second intervals so that it looks like the conversation is happening while people are watching the video. So first of all, we're going to tidy this up a little bit so that everything is grouped together properly. So first of all, the really fiddly bits like the ticks, yes, they are grouped together properly. And the conversations are the text boxes grouped together. Yes, they are. Great. Okay. I think we're good to go. So first of all, we want these to come up at two second intervals. So, so let's change the timing from five seconds to two seconds. So each screen is on screen for two seconds. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. You can right click and duplicate or just hit control D. Now we're going to work backwards to make it slightly less confusing because I found this very confusing when I was doing it. Okay, let's make it slightly bigger so that I can see what I'm doing. So we're starting at the bottom. So we want to end with it looking like Stevie, whose phone it is, is still typing. So we go to animate and we want we want wipe. on enter. And then if we're allowed, we also want pulse on enter. Okay. So that should look like it's typing. Okay, so that's page seven done. Now for page six, duplicate this again. And we don't need this bit now because we're going backwards in time. Oh, this is really annoying, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. This happens a lot. And we hit, we click on it and we hit lock. That stops it from just being quite so annoying. And on this one as well, we'll do that. We're just locking the background into place so it doesn't move around. All right. So as I was saying, we don't need these two dots and we do need to, it to be a bit bigger so that I can see what I'm doing. We don't need these two dots. So let's select that and delete it. Okay. Now this should be in two parts. So that, that should be separate to this group. So this group needs to come in. So Let's go animate, pop on enter, <clears throat> excuse me. So it only pops once and we need these 
to also pop animate pop on enter but we need them to come in slightly after so we're going to right click on them and go to show timing right so this is your two second window we need these to come in about i don't know half a second maybe a little later okay so the the blue ticks should appear a little bit after the message appears okay right but we can either delete let's duplicate this one duplicate that one and for the previous page we don't need this because we've already seen this okay well this one's fairly easy animate pop on enter duplicate Control D, delete, oh. delete. Why are we deleting everything in bits rather than all together? Right, delete. There we go. Okay, this one all grouped together. Good. Pop on enter. Okay, duplicate this one. And again, select this, the one that we just did, delete that, select the next one up, animate, pop, on enter, duplicate, animate, pop, on enter and then oopsie did the wrong one let's move this over to the middle there is that right yes the text is going down right so duplicate that And we have to do this again because this is Stevie's phone and the blue ticks and all that happened. So let's do anime pop on enter. And then we do need to do the blue ticks separately. Animate on enter. And then right click show timing and reduce the timing. Okay, do we need a blank one? No, let's start with that. It's best not to start with a blank screen. So that, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Do we need this at the end? We can have a look, see if we need it at the end. All right. Now, if you wanted to use this as an ad, you might want to add a end screen saying, by now and let's add uploads And a buy now button.
I always forget to select the text, select the text and then change the color. There we go. And let's give this a shadow so that it's not so flat. And I think I'll use the same texture as is in the background. Position to the back. We'll probably do a better end screen than this, but for now, it'll do. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. It's only 20, less than 20 seconds long. I think I did two in one there. Let's find out what happened there. So troubleshooting, it's, it happens. All right, let's try it. Okay, there we go. Now all you have to do is download it and share it. If you found these useful, please do share. And if you want to learn how to make other animations, there's loads more tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.